we realize there are many barriers that we're being put in place by stopping and starting in artificial course structures. First of all, there's cost. Second of all, the fact that many people come in, they already know much of the material we're going to teach them, but because we don't document it with prior learning assessment as much as we could, they have to repeat courses they already know. So all that creates barriers and hurdles they have to get to increase completions. The other is that it's not a one-size-fits-all. People want to start and grow and change and maybe work on some competencies in their professional life for work, but learn other things that may be where they're going in five or ten years. And people aren't used to that. They're used to taking a course, having the syllables slapped in front of them, and following a sequential linear process. But we just don't learn that way. There is no search engine for educational learning. Um, there are admissions guides, there's vendor-specific materials, college-specific course catalogs, but nothing there. The innovation is a portal called Knowledge to Work, and that's where we took our personalized learning plans for about seven or eight different programs at the college, pushed them all up onto the web, and used the same open source learning software that we developed in-house for people to use on the web. So you can go in, you create a portal, you can immediately start searching for learning resources tied to different career pathways. We're in high wage, high growth jobs. And, and then what Amazon does so well with filtering results and being able to see how to vary based on cost or delivery mode or language or length of material, uh, you can make all those filter adjustments. You can monitor your progress. It'll prompt you with new resources as they become available. You can favorite different types of resources that you like. You can pick and choose whether you want to pay for them. When you want totally open and free um, CC BY license materials and all that. And you can work your way through them. It'll keep track of which ones you've done. You can search for new ones. And it's all in the language of competency. So it really puts it up front for the user in terms of what are the things I need to be able to document that I've attained in competency. And so we had this idea that we would have digital librarians that work with faculty in the discipline to take these materials out of all these repositories and make them available. And you don't have to enroll in a college to be able to leverage them. So it's everything from YouTube videos to MOOCs to SOOCs to internships to traditional courses as well. Uh, and you can pick and choose the ones that suit for you as part of a, a cohesive learning plan. It's a source for faculty, too, that are developing traditional courses because a faculty member can go on, see the similar competency domains and, and topical areas, and quickly find hundreds of OERs linked to what exactly they want to teach. That's where we've gone now is a whole new set of rich features that we're developing so that employers can post their employer profile, the types of job roles, occupation codes that are tied to, then we map those to competencies and present them to the user. And we've essentially unpacked course structures to focus on the competencies that are covered. A typical syllabus might cover 15 or 20 major topics with a layered sequential work through there. Someone can come in, just pick the competencies that they want to work on, and it'll, they click on that competency, it'll show them, hey, here's 250 resources related to that. And we do link to badges where we can find them. And we've worked with Badger and some of the other efforts that are out there to try to identify those and map them to these competencies. The problem is that there's no master database listing of those assessments tied to competencies even. Uh, we did develop extended transcripts of competencies. We crosswalked them to course credit equivalencies. And then also our military occupation codes map to competencies and to traditional courses. So. We've had about 28,000 searches so far. Uh, we've had about 600 or so uh, people who've set up profiles to work on nationally recognized credentials in these industries. Five or 600 competencies that people have tracked in their personalized learning plan and documented and worked toward that. Uh, we've got about 400 competencies that people are working on right today. Within our own tech program, we've served right now about 1,500 students. Uh, we had some with just totally personalized learning, but a lot more with course-based version of learning. AHIMA, which has been a partner with us all along. We've had four key apprenticeships that they had as part of a Department of Labor grant. So we've mapped competencies to those 
apprenticeships, uh, and they've really helped us to then develop a whole new IT and healthcare, uh, COPC national framework, as well as a national certification. We've put a lot of development with industry partners relative to that new framework, and then we're just poised with our own program at the college, certificate in, in IT and healthcare, and then we're going to use the portal to make all those materials available for free to the entire world. Vision is that people will have a portfolio of learning that shows the learning they've had, shows artifacts that they've created out of it that hopefully have been um, scored with a rubric by some party, some third party evaluator with faculty or industry ex subject matter experts in the field, and that becomes a, a kind of lifelong learning transcript 